Alright, so we're continuing on in Chapter 7, The Arcade, which is basically the shopping mall. And we have some nice music being played on a piano out here. Who's oh, you know what I just realized? Hold on. Shit. We have to reassign my uh, whetstone. We have to do back to the fire whetstone, because now we're fighting these mutations again. Here you go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go back to the f flame. That'll help. Okay, cool. It certainly worked really well in uh, the fourth chapter, especially when we were fighting the Archbishop, right? Yeah, it's like ragtime music, you're right. Oh, it's a vendor! A vendor just sitting there. Oh, we got the underground passage key. So if we go back down the way we came, we'll be able to go through there. Here's another shortcut door opened. Takes us to where we already were, in a circle. So this is how we can go back down there right away, because that's what we're supposed to do. What does this guy want to do here? Who are you? A lost visitor? Or a looter who's arrived too late? <laughs> you look like a stalker. I figured you were all dead. <clears throat> no offense. Stalker, visitor, looter, I don't care. Just buy what you need and leave. Wow, this guy's not too talkative. He's an asshole, actually. Ooh. Circular electric chainsaw blade. Damn, that sounds neat, right? Uh, co con Condensing slash and endure. Slash enemies in front of you. The number of slashes varies depending on the charge amount. Damn, a chainsaw blade. But the problem is it's it's uh, it's advanced scaling, Jasper Kitty. So it's not for my build. It wouldn't be very good for my build because it's advanced and we're not using advanced. So I probably won't get it. What's this? Increased resistance of disruption, shock, and break. Oh, that I think I'm buying that right now, and I'm gonna equip that right now. That's really good. Disruption, shock, and break. Although, admittedly, we're doing decay here, but I will probably use that later, right? I came to Krat to see the wonders of the Grand Exhibition. Talk about bad luck. <laughs> Not only was the Grand Exhibition a huge disaster, I can't leave because of, well, monsters. If you want to see the exhibition for yourself, head toward the wine cellar down below. That's where we're going. And that's probably where we're going to get the wine for the woman's mission too, right? So I could probably equip it because this is two. And this is, where is it? Only 2.5. Yep. So I'll get resistance. The only bummer is it's not decay, which is really what I need. I need the decay, and I don't have decay resistance. So I guess we're going to get decayed, and there's nothing I can do about it. Just got to deal with it. Fuck, that ain't the way we're going. It must be this way, then. That gate right there. Fucking headbutt at me at work. <laughs> Dang. World's slowest headbutt, and it still hit me. Okay. Underground passage key. Here we go. I'm just going to assume everything down here is going to be decay. I love the double slash. That's really cool. Yeah, look. Everything's decay. Like, literally everything will be decay down here. And there's a butterfly in there. Oh! Okay. You kill what's making it, and then it goes away. All right. Well, I'm learning. That's pretty useful. <clears throat> Can I lure this guy over here? Well, that didn't work. It's definitely getting away. I'll have to do this one again. I'll do the butterfly again. It's all right. Shut the fuck up. 
Oh god, they regenerate? I guess they regenerate. Fuck. Okay, let's go. sucks. I can't see what's generating it. So we have to get in here. Ready? Got it. Okay, go, go, go. One more run. There's gonna be two guys here. Two or three. Fucking still hit me? Alright, there's like three guys. Okay, I knew this was gonna happen. Ready? Win the fucking win, baby! Blade. I'd love to look at this, but I am afraid that we're gonna get this shit back, so I'm just gonna I'll look at it after I get to a non-toxic area. See what I say? Get to a non-toxic area here like this. Okay. Cool. And we got all the items, so we don't have to go back into that decay area at all. We did it. Now, Spear of Honor Blade. It is a B. Ooh, it's my type. B scaling. It could probably go to A or higher. Killer attack and rush swing. So, killer attack, swing the weapon on attack, deals heavy damage to any attacking enemies. So, when they're attacking you, you do it, and it does like double damage as a counter attack. Is that what they're saying? Or rush swing. Rush forward, attack enemies, and swing your weapon wide. So it's a spear. It's a special spear. Might be something looking uh, worth worth looking into. I think you might already have a spear. It's a boss spear. <clears throat> okay. Scores man just did a super chat. He says he's the number one stunner. What, 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 what? Okay, then. Number one stunner. What, what, what? He's the number one stunner. There you go. So we're going this way. Uh... So thank you to Scoresman for the super chat. Get that on the leaderboard. I think we'll just keep going. I won't go back to recharge at this point. We could, but I think I'll just keep going. What is this thing? There's another one freaking out. I got him bold, dude. This is so good. The scythe is ridiculously good. I was swinging. I hit them both at once. Ew. Corroded mannequins. Okay, there is the sniping or the uh, corrosion thing. Electric blitz canister. Ah, oh, it's a waste. What a waste. Didn't need that. Here. The greatest show on earth is coming. The biggest show on earth is coming to Krat to make your heart race. Dear ladies and gentlemen, introducing the grand exhibition in Krat, the city of tomorrow, the center of the new age. State of the art machines, balloons spread across the sky, and a popular performance that toured from across the great desert in the south to the country to the far east. Don't forget the essence of the automated puppet, the center of Krat's revival, the greatest show awaits you. Don't miss your chance to see the following. Puppets of the Future, Multi-Purpose Puppets, Vernini Tram, New Butler Puppets, and Special Exhibition Gallery, Treasure from the Far East. If you wish to behold these, be sure to attend. Sounds like the World's Fair. Ever, ever heard about the World's Fair? 
So we can go up that staircase, or we can keep going this way. I don't know which way we're actually supposed to go. This looks like where we're supposed to go, doesn't it? Is this the wine cellar? I think this is the wine cellar. But I don't know if we were supposed to go up that staircase or not. Obviously, I don't want to miss something. There's a lot of enemies here. Can I just hit them through like this? Yes! I can kill them early so they can't come out and attack me later. Well, that sounds like a bonus. I can't hit now? Why not? I can hit the other one. This one I can. But this one I can? Now this is weird. Oh the fuck? What the hell is that? <sighs> Look at this guy. Yo, it's Voldo. It's fucking Voldo from Soul Calibur. Oh god, Voldo. I don't even know what that was. I have no idea. It was something. I don't know. He threw something. It just, I couldn't even see the animation. It just killed me. Great. Oh, yo, yo. Well, let's do it again. So I guess maybe I should have gone up that staircase because it seems like the, the that cellar is where we're supposed to be. Right? By the way, only 3,000, not a big deal, honestly. Let's go up the staircase, see what's up here. Oh! Well, this is a better shortcut. I just hit the wall. Fuck! Stupid wall. So this shortcut is here. Okay, that's way better. That way we can skip all those enemies. Okay, cool. Express route down to the cellar. I'm still going to try to kill all those enemies. Maybe I shouldn't. Because the puppet attacked the enemies that were in those side rooms. So maybe if I wait, he'll attack them and I could focus on just like sniping and attacking him from behind. By the way, now that I switched to the fire element, now I gotta fight a puppet, right? Of course. A crazy jester puppet.
doing? <laughs> Dozy doing. Oh, what the? He turns around in the middle of his combo. So that's frustrating. Yeah, I want to fight him here. Got him. Man, he was a pain. But I got him on the column. A hunter's amulet. So those enemies in the side are actually incredibly useful. They distract him and allow me to snipe him down to half health. A special resistance ampoule. Man, this weapon is great. Attack people through columns. That's amazing. So let's see what this new amulet is. Hunter's amulet. Increases ergo acquisition when you kill enemies. Whoa, that's really good. Hell yeah. Give me bonus uh, bonus ergo. Information and memories are useful for movement and can be imprinted on the symbol to draw out special powers. I don't know if Jasper's still in here or not. The value of ergo gave rise to a new crime where puppets were used to steal other puppets' ergo. Sadly, these thieves met their end by the hunter puppets that they themselves created. Let's use it. Sounds good to me. Fuck that guy. Dancing around like an asshole. The jester puppet. See, he looked like Voldo from uh, Soul Calibur. Because Voldo originally looked like a jester. <clears throat> a balance crank. I probably will never use that. Is it the old woman of the, the wine. Uh, venerable lady? Looking Found it. Wine? You know, like the wine you've got. Indeed. Now we just gotta find a... Uh, whatchamacallit. Stargazer. Stop vomiting. Disgusting. This is... Dude, this weapon is my favorite weapon in the whole game right now. Right? <clears throat> For sure. It's kill. It's, it's doing crazy area of effect swings. It attacks through, through shit. It's ridiculously good. Love it. Best weapon in the game so far. The side. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Nope. No one here. Calling Amy and all stargazers in the vicinity. Please respond. Over. Is that very meany? <clears throat> What's my go-to brand turkey dogs? Uh, Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer turkey dogs are pretty tasty. All right, so... We got a couple things to do. We're gonna go level again, and we're gonna go talk to the woman, give her her wine, right? <clears throat> Here we go. Let's go give the woman her wine, and uh, and guess see what reward we get for it. <clears throat> What's my thoughts on the Soul Calibur series? Do I have a favorite character? I like it. I I enjoyed it very much in the Dreamcast days. It was a super good game with a ton of content in it. Um, I'm not good at it anymore because I haven't really played it in ages, but I do respect people who are good at it. And uh, my favorite characters are probably Voldo, Nightmare, and uh, I don't know, maybe Mitsurugi. A lot of good characters in that game, and they all play so different. So now, as you can see, it's pouring rain in these streets. Because, again, after you defeat the boss of an area, um, everything changes. So now we have this new climate going on here. All right, let's give the woman her wine. Ah, la play oui. <laughs> Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Oh, thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But this, this, Glimmer of happier days is priceless. 
Oh, why you almost forgot. They're speaking of price. Here's what mm. I can spare. Please. Take what you gonna it. give me? A Vernini commemorative coin. Wonder what the hell that is for. <laughs> it is engraved with Vernini's face. The Vernini commemorative coins were minted for limited edition sale for the Vernini fan club anniversary. A magnificent event attended by crotch socialites. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll go back to the hotel and see if someone wants it. <clears throat> see. Yeah, it's, uh, what's his name, the butler guy? Yeah, maybe he'll pay me for it. All right, cool, we can level up while we're there, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was right about the arcade, by the way. It's one of those stages where there's no other stargazers or bonfires. It's just a bunch of shortcuts that open up. So will this unlock new stuff for this guy here? Let's see. At the house of Anini, even priceless things... Here we go. The commemorative coin. Strike a light. You found a commemorative coin dating from the founding of the Vanini Foundation. Vanini. The foundation is a sort of fan club, sir. <laughs> a very limited number of these were minted for the original members. Well, once Master Vanini established himself as the <clears throat> Prince of High Society, his popularity skyrocketed. <laughs> And his signature coat and glasses were mass-produced. This is one of the originals, however. From the limited run. Take care of it, won't you? You have restored Master Benini's lost collection. You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank you. A half-moon stone. That's only the second one in the game that we've gotten, right? So let's take a quick look at what you can upgrade with the Half Moon Stone. I know my way around a weapon. Would it be the sword? It is. So you can upgrade standard weapons to higher level with the Half Moon Stones. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that yet. I don't think. I think we'll kind of stick with what we've got. I really like the scythe. So if I get more Dark Moon Stone or Dark Moon Moonstones of the Covenant, that's what I'm gonna keep upgrading. Cause, dude, I love this right now. But now. <clears throat> Did his store expand? At the house of Ani. Increased damage inflicted on carcasses. Okay. I might want to buy this. And I also might want to buy this. I might want to buy all of these, actually. In fact, yeah, let's buy this. The acid grindstone. And let's also buy the amulet that does double damage to... Or add damage to carcasses. Let's buy all of that. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be useful. I never even bothered with any of these. Look, I never did. I never had I got the increase. What's the most valuable one out of all of these? <clears throat> uh, this one, probably. The latest one. So... Sweet. Cool. We got some more defense now. First time I had a better one. Cool. I might also be able to level up. Because I think I need like 7,000. And I think I might have enough. Yeah, I have enough. For sure. Let's get a level. I'll use my power to help. Yes, you will. You'll do what I say. And I say you're going to help me. Man, I haven't gotten vitality in ages. I haven't gotten technique in ages. I just keep getting capacity. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do capacity again. Until I can freaking equip that heavy amulet. Right? I'm gonna keep doing it. Can I do it now? Nope. So we're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait. <clears throat> so what am I doing? I'm, right now I'm fighting... Uh, I'm fighting carcasses, right? So we should equip the new one I just bought and do bonus damage to carcasses. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. So I'm going to actually close my door now. I don't know if Jasper's in here. I don't think he is. I think Jasper was in here and then he took off again. So I'm going to close the door now. I'm going to 
because my wife should be home soon. Any minute, actually. But it's pouring rain, but more traffic. All right. So, we'll go back. <clears throat> All right, we're going back to the arcade, and I think something was going on. Was that Vernini who was trying to talk to me? By the way, it looks like we hit 100 likes as well. So, let's do the celebratory bubble blow for engagement purposes, everybody. Thank you all very much for the engagement today. I appreciate it. That wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. A big cluster of bubbles just went down and slapped you right in the leg. <laughs> Ugh. Now it's all sticky and gross. Ew. Ew. <laughs> it's disgusting. All right. It didn't work out the way we had planned. So how do I talk to Vernini? Talk to Vernini. There it is. Can you hear me, Vernini? Aviva, it actually worked. This has to be how the King of Puppets did it. How he called to the puppets and controlled them. A, a speaker? I can't believe you can transmit your voice through ergo waves. What a brilliant discovery. And you'll never believe what signal I've picked up over the ergo. A cry for help from the Grand Exhibition. Ah. Somehow someone survived. I'm suspicious too. But you have to investigate. What if it's some trapped innocent? Okay. Sounds like that's what we're doing next. Now, we had just opened the gate, correct? The giant gate. Right here. So this is where we're headed. This is a whole new area here. That's where we just came from, the wine cellar. So, all right, what's next? Let's find out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some nice setups, except for the blood all over the back wall. I don't know why there's blood everywhere, right? <laughs> Growing up. Looks like we're leaving. We're leaving the arcade. That's it. We beat the arcade. Onward. To the Grand Exhibition. Now, because I switched my amulet to the pup to the mutation amulet, watch it be all puppets. Grand Exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Krat. But, you know the rest. You can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. And now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare. Aaron, thank you for the super chat. He's asking, what's the most boring game I ever played over the years? Ugh. Uh, the most boring game I ever played. Oh, a Dark Moonstone of the Covenant. That's good. I need two more to upgrade this side again. <clears throat> the most boring game I ever played over the years. Jeez, that's a tough question. Oh, I, what did I say? I said, now that I got the amulet, we're going to be fighting puppets. Guess who the fuck is the first enemy I fight? Uh, hold on a second here. Stupid. Okay. You Nick. Good night. What do you guys think was the most boring game I ever played? Another shortcut gate. Can't open that one yet. I guess this is where we're supposed to go. What about the giant area over there that I skipped? I should probably go check that area out first now. Another saw blade hit dog. <laughs> <clears throat> Divinity or Disney Dreamlight Valley says 672. Wow. Starfield says Knickerbocker Tate. Wow. You guys have interesting takes. Interesting uh, perspectives. Oh, there really is nothing here. I didn't miss anything besides one item. Oh, wait, there's something over here. Let's see what's over here. Is it optional? Thank you. 
Look at that. Oh my god, did you see that? This weapon is insane. I love it. This might be one of my favorite weapons ever in this style of game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't like the saw headed dog, though. Uh, I couldn't. What happened? I couldn't attack. I can't attack the dog. It won't let me hit it. No fucking time it let me hit the damn dog. See if you think of hitting me. <clears throat> A crescent moonstone. <clears throat> I've certainly dabbled in so many games, there's probably going to be a ton of different opinions about what would be the most boring ones that I've played. Now, why does this look like where we're supposed to go? So what the hell was the giant door we just skipped? Right? Maybe that door didn't open. Again. Again with this bullshit with this dog. Yo, the dog won't stop striking me. It, oh my god, my heavy attack misses the dog. It goes over its head. That's what was going on. I was swinging over the head of the dog. It was whiffing. Dang. So this gate's already open. I didn't open it. Who did? God, there's a lot going on here. Oh, shit. What is that? Look at that thing. I hit the fucking bush. I hit the bush again. You can't shoot over the bush. You gotta be kidding me. He hit me for through it. With that little thing. I got a giant side who's hitting me. Through the distance. Now I didn't want to go back. That sucked. I wanted to go the other way. do it. Wasn't the right angle. He's almost dead.
stuck. Lita shock cartridge. It's incredibly good, but it's up weight by three, and now I'm slightly heavy. <clears throat> I'm still slightly heavy. It's not worth it if it's that heavy. Okay, I'll do that. <clears throat> slightly heavy doesn't affect much. I don't care. I don't want to be slightly heavy at all. I want to have maximum maneuverability. <clears throat> Alright, so he's dead. Nothing else here. We're going to go upstairs here and investigate there. I wonder if this really is a whole optional area or not. <clears throat> that shock stick. It certainly doesn't seem like an optional area. It seems like this is where you're supposed to go. Legion Magazine. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to go, huh? I think so. <clears throat> Should I go back to the door? Was there something in the door that we skipped? I don't know. You're going to wrap back around anyway, so there's no reason to go back. Okay. I wonder what was in the door. The door can't even be opened right now. Okay. So I didn't skip anything. Cool. Okay, excuse me. Fancy building. Let down the ladder. New save point. And could that be a door over there to open? I think I saw... Oh, never mind. That's a giant enemy. What the fuck is that? Well, we'll check out different things. Now that we're here, look at there's multiple ways to go. <clears throat> Okay, let's sit down at the Stargazer. What's this way? Is this the door that wouldn't open? It looks like it. Oh, another dark, dark moon crescent stone. Yes, okay. So we skipped the door and now we got the door open. Beautiful. Go back out the front door if you want. Nice. Welcome to the Grand Exhibition. Again, kind of like the World's Fair. So this will be like a museum, right? With all kinds of shit in it, I'm sure. Look at that giant monster. Jesus, what is that? Ooh, what was that noise? Sorry about that. The big boy's right there. Look at him. What is that thing? I'm gonna snipe it. Crescent moon stone. I'm sorry, we're trying to block. Oh shit! Can't 
move. Say goodnight. <laughs> that was a cool death animation. It popped up. That was awesome. A star fragment. I don't want that. That was a cool dead animation. He's like, whoop, pops apart. I like that. Snipe it to death. Good stuff. Well, I got the shit drilled out of me, but we're alright. We're alright. Once again, I got the wrong thing equipped because now we're fighting all puppets again. And I have the fire equipped, of course. I always have the wrong thing equipped, man. Every time. Oh, a half moonstone. Oh. <laughs> Oh, amazing. You wanna come close to me? Ooba da, ooba da. How about again? Ooba da, ooba da. And yuba da. This thing is so good, man. Breaks their poise. New enemy? Oh, these are guys are gonna throw shit, aren't they? Oh, you annoying fucks. What happened? They didn't throw anything. Now they did. They throw electric bombs. Should I just skip them? Maybe I just run right through them. Oh shit! A shield boy. If I can get the shield boy over here, maybe I can fight him. I can't fight him in the midst of all of them though. I didn't run by by Wow, how did you even know I was there? You fucking piece of shit. Like, I find him over here. If he, if he follows me. Oh, there's a fucking butterfly over here. Hold on. I knew it. It's gonna reappear, though. God. Okay, that was pretty easy. Ooh, a technique crank. It's a really good item. So I can either go down a ladder. To a courtyard with another big boy. And I, I can open the shortcut gate. I think I should go open the shortcut gate. Or I can go up this ladder and that probably continues the stage. I should probably open the shortcut gate. Can I fight the shield boy? He's over there. Again, I'll fight him if I can fight him head up. I can't fight him against those dudes, so maybe I should come back. Right? Kill those little guys and then come back. <clears throat> Sucks I don't have the right item to use against him. I don't have electricity. It's stupid. I got I got cheated. Yes, you missed the bubbles. Sorry, you missed them. However, I should put Aaron on the leaderboard as the latest super chatter. I forgot to do that. Uh guys, everything okay with all contributions and everything? Just checking, cause uh I haven't had like a tip in hours, and I just want to make sure everything's fine. No one was trying to tip and had an issue or anything, right? I hope so. Okay. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna try to fucking get these guys. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Okay, now I can really try to fight him head up. Because he's slow. It's not that big of a deal. Damage. 
Oh god. Special attack is so good. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's it? No item. Killed him. Got nothing for it. His arm came off. Damn! I hit him so fucking hard his arm flew off. But I didn't get anything for killing him. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. Is that a bridge? It is, isn't it? See that orange thing? I bet that's a button that creates a shortcut. But we haven't gotten over there yet. Okay. So I think what we should do... Let's go down the ladder and open the shortcut gate. There's a big guy there maybe I'll fight. But I want to open the shortcut gate first. And now I can change my stone, thankfully, back to Blitz. We do have acid as well, but we'll go with Blitz for now. And let's see if we can go get a level. I get the feeling we should be able to get a level. So that way we don't waste all this ergo. <clears throat> okay. Joe Blow claims he tried the tip and it didn't work. Yeah, well, what went wrong? Explain to me exactly what went wrong and let's see if you're full of crap or not. Tell me what happened when you tried the tip. Let's hear this. Alright, we get a level. Where'd she go? There she is. I'll use my... Literally, capacity is my tied for my highest stat now, right? So I understand now because people were saying the game has 11 chapters and I was like, but I don't understand. I've been in chapters 5 and 6 for a long time and it felt like, you know, I was cruising through the game. These later chapters are longer. This is chapter 7. We've been doing this all day. Two, over two hours and here we are and we're continuing on and it doesn't seem like we're anywhere near the end, right? So that's what I mean. I think these chapters are getting much longer now and that's why the game actually has 11 chapters but has a lot more left to it. So now we gotta fight this big guy. Can we find somewhere <clears throat> where he'll get stuck, or do we have to fight him head up? We might have to fight him head up. What the? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Fuck you. It's not happening. Can we get him stuck anywhere? It doesn't look like it.
Jack! Oh my god, look how much damage it did. Jesus Christ. Giant range, and we're both missing. Finish him! A strength amulet. Motivity plus four. Ooh. So it's equal. Essentially, it's equal. Uh to the technique amulet we had earned earlier. Okay. And I get to he guess he's not going to respawn because he's a unique enemy, right? So let's go back and recharge. And then redo that. Get past there, right? Thank you to Omega Douche. Who did a super chat. says, good to see a gamer my age on YouTube. Well, there you go. Omega Douche. What a name. Well, thank you, Omega. I'm going to call you Omega D. And then people will ask what it means. So maybe they'll, they'll think of you favorably. There you go. What do you think of that? I'm a nice guy. All right, let's continue Omega D. <laughs> that was amazing. The two for one special right there. That's why this weapon is so goddamn good, man. <clears throat> so. I think that's all that's out here. We'll double check. But then we gotta go up. There was a ladder up to continue. I think that's... Oh, there's a chest. Cool. What's in the chest? Quartz! Um, oh, that's a good one. That's a good find. Always willing to get the quartz upgrades, man. Those are the best. So we're going one way. We didn't go the other way yet into this uh, dungeon. The exhibition. I don't know what the other way was from the main... Uh, Stargazer, but I think we should just continue on the way we're going. Let's see what's up here. Actually, almost time to split the part. What the? Why did I just get hit? He should have been stunned and he attacked me anyway. Right. <clears throat> We're on the scaffolding, which means these guys are going to be chucking bullshit at me. Who's talking? Is that someone's talking? How on earth am I supposed to fight that bomb guy? Or the uh, bomb guy, excuse me. The shield guy. There's no way I can beat him up here. And who was talking? Someone was talking, but I don't know who it was. I get the puppets. But what are the monsters doing here? Hello, who are you? D don't don't come Bell. any closer. Oh. You're not one of them. Are you here to save me? Mm-mm. Those grand exhibition jerks are not to be messed with. Especially after they took that drug. Then there are those biological experiments. Oh, how horrid. I can't reveal everything, but suffice it to say that I can escape on my own if you clear the way of it. Please, wipe out all those mongrels. Okay. Please, it'll be easier to breathe once that horrid Victor's been taken out. Victor! Once you're done, I'll see you at the hotel. 
Okay. So I guess once we finish up with this boss or this uh, dungeon area, <clears throat> we will have to. I don't want to go back down here. I've already been here. I guess once we finish up with this dungeon area. We will have to uh, go to the hotel and she'll be there, right? So once we fight the boss, I guess. By the way, I gotta close the blinds again. Because now that the, the thunderstorm is passed, the sun's coming out. It's like, what the fuck? What's going on with the lighting today? <laughs> right? Ridiculous. It's bright, it's dark. It's bright, it's dark. We can't make up its mind. Alright, this is a good time to split the part. And then come back and continue on with the Grand Exhibition. Thank you guys. Be back in a sec.